The Fed say the investment started failing almost immediately. A Detroit man charged with bilking investors out of $27 million. Andrew Middlebrooks is charged with running a Ponzi scheme that eventually just imploded. And lost investors millions of dollars along the way. Rod Maloney live with more on this. Uh, Miller, Middlebrooks promised some huge returns here, Rod. Huge returns a lot to go along with the huge promise he showed as a young man. Now this is an information when the feds put these out. It usually means there's a an imminent plea deal coming. So we have to wait and see more. But this is what they said today. So let's hear about Andrew Middlebrooks. Andrew Middlebrooks made headlines as a child prodigy, learning about the stock market from his father. He later developed his own specialized research program to analyze stocks in real time and opened his fund called EIA All Weather Alpha Fund One Partners, or EIA for short, in the city of Detroit and later moving to Texas. Got off to an award-winning start in 2017, but it did not take long for things to go south. And today, the U.S. Attorney's Office put out this information saying, quote, from the beginning of this scheme, Middlebrook's investments failed to produce the returns investors anticipated, resulting in catastrophic losses. Rather than admitting that EIA's fund was losing money, Middlebrook's, with intent to defraud, continued to solicit money and lied to investors about EIA's investment performance, end quote. He assured the highly wealthy individuals he spoke with that his new technology could get them massive returns, but court documents say those returns never materialized. Quote, Middlebrooks reported positive returns of 135.74% in 2020 when he knew EIA had incurred losses of over $13 million. Middlebrooks took money from the fund for living expenses and transferred money from the fund to his wife's business, end quote. Then it apparently devolved into a Ponzi scheme. Quote, Middlebrooks paid over $9 million back to investors, claiming the money represented returns generated through EIA trades. In fact, these payments came from new investor money. Losses to at least 100 investors exceeded $27 million, end quote. Now, we first reported on this story back in May when the Securities and Exchange Commission shut down EIA. They handed the case off to the feds, and now today we have this information. Back to you. So do we know, Rod, when Middlebrooks is going to be before a judge here now? At this point, no, Devin. Usually when these come out, there's a schedule that comes out, and they right. usually try and talk about uh, getting together for either a sentencing or the plea deal or whatever. But so far, that hasn't been filed, but we'll certainly be keeping an eye on it. Sure. All right, Rod.